Well, hello, Marenzi. So today we have a special request or sort of a, a special project to consider. Um, one of the, the principal here at Marenzi High School, Mr. Bowling, has asked to get a, a rough idea of how much a run of fencing would cost. So we're going to look into this. He wants, uh, so let's go ahead and actually write this down. So we want fencing. Now he wants a two inch uh, square tube. It's not quite sure how long it's going to be, but it'll be at least 100 feet, probably closer to two or even 300 feet if I had to make a guess. So we're going to look at a 100 foot fence as a nice standard and uh, figure out how much that's going to cost them. So first off, let's go ahead and draw a section of fence. So the whole thing is going to be made out of two inch square tubing. He wants 10, uh, 10 foot sections with two rails coming across like this. And at the top, he wants a hole drilled for some sort of LED light. Should go ahead and do this instead. L E E. Okay. Now our fence posts are going to end up being six foot long. And about two foot of that is going to get sunk into the dirt. And again, let's go ahead and show this. And of course, he'll probably drop in a bag of concrete or something uh, to anchor everything in. All right, so these fence post uh, lengths are going to be 10 foot long. These are six foot long, and we're going to try and have these things stick about uh, four feet out of the ground. The idea is to have some sort of bracket, probably just a piece of angle iron, uh, sitting under these so you can just sort of bolt everything together. We'll assemble the parts here at the school and then he can take it out to, his, uh, to the trailer park that he's trying to fix up a bit and uh, he can assemble it out there without any major trouble. So we'd come up with a price list and figure out what this thing is going to entail. I think this drawing here is good enough to do some of that work. So let's go and take a look here. So I called up to Ace. And asked them for the prices on a bunch of different types of steel that we're going to use for this. And let's go and take a look at those. So two inch square tube. Is currently $38. 
and 94 cents. Two inch square tube thick wall is $110.34. And we are probably going to end up using the thin wall for obvious reasons. Two inch by one eighth inch angle. Which is what we're going to make the brackets out of. Is $33.84. And two inch strap, which is what we'll use to cap things off with. This is also a one eighth inch. It is going to be twenty one dollars and ninety four cents. Okay, so we have the basic prices of the of the materials. Now we need to figure out how much we're going to use in a one hundred foot section. So let's go and draw out a one hundred foot section of of uh, fencing. So each one of these is going to be 10, 10 feet, um, and these two, four inches that, well, the two inches here and the two inches here are going to be negligible compared to the 10 foot. So we won't worry about that. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so these are our fence posts. I actually have two rows of horizontals, so we're gonna need to draw that up. Okay, so now we go ahead and count things up. First off, let's count our um, fence posts. These are again six foot long. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven fence posts. And we need to figure out how many of these six foot fence posts we can get out of a 20 foot section of pipe. So, if we divide 20 by six, we get three and some change. So, now we take 11. And we divide that by three and we get three point something or other. We're gonna round that up to be four. So we need four lengths of steel for the fence posts. And now we count our horizontals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 horizontals, each of which is 10 foot long. Our steel comes in 20 foot lengths, so we can assume we're going to buy 10 lengths of steel to produce this many horizontals. There no, 20. This is going to leave us with 14 lengths total. All right, so now we know how many lengths of two inch square we need. Uh, or let's see if we need more than one length of angle iron. So again, we buy it by the 20 foot section and we need to count up here. So each one of these angle brackets is two inches long. So we've got one, two, three, four of these things. 
So each uh, set of horizontals requires four of these. If we multiply four times two, which is the width of our steel, we have eight inches. So our, uh, I'll just write this over here. Our brackets require for one section. Actually, you know what, let's not do one section, let's do one post. Each post is going to require four brackets. So each post is going to require one, two, three, four times two, eight inches of steel. All right. So if we've got 11 of these posts, we need 88 inches of steel. That is much shorter than the 240 inches for a uh, 20 foot length. So we're good on our angle iron. We just need one piece. We can do similar math for the two inch strap. If we only need one per fence post, that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, or two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 inches of steel. Yeah, a two inch, a two foot, a 20 foot length of steel will cover that steel just fine. So, all said and done, we are going to need 14, Two inch square, one, two by eighth angle, and one, two inch strap. And let's go and write this down. That's going to be thirty eight, ninety four. 33, 84, and 21, And now, of course, we need to multiply this all out and get a grand total for this whole thing. So, let me pull up my calculator real quick. I do love a cell phone, and they provide you with calculators. For Hmm, we don't need that number. 14 times 38.94 will come out to 545.16 plus Plus 21.94. Our total is going to be $600.94 per 100 foot length. And that's how we do it. Now we could probably offer a discount if he was going to go for more than uh, this 100 foot section of fencing because obviously we have a lot of uh, this angle iron and strap steel left over. So we can just keep using this stuff until it runs out. But we would need to buy $545 worth of steel uh, 2 inch square tubing for each 100 feet of fence that he wanted to order. So this is an interesting project. We could probably knock it out real quick um, if we use some jigs, and we'll talk about that in another video. Anyway, my name is Mr. Hilbert, and I do hope you have enjoyed this bit of uh, sketching and math. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe over here. Watch other videos over here, and of course, leave your comments and ideas uh, for me to draw in the section below. Have a great day, guys.